Hey guys, today I'm going to cook my first whole pork shoulder butt on the Weber kettle with the slow and sear. I've never done a whole one of these before. I've done the half ones a few times and those came out pretty good so I thought I'd try doing one of these whole ones. This is uh, 8.79 pounds, it was 209 per pound. So this roast was $18.37. So let me get it out of the wrapper and rinse it off and then we'll get it seasoned up. This is a big piece of meat. So I rinsed it off and patted it dry with a paper towel. I'll turn it over and show you what the other side looks like. That's the fattier side. It's actually trimmed up pretty well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start seasoning that. I'm gonna kinda use a mixture of seasonings here. First I'm gonna put some avocado oil on the outside of this. Just rub it on there just to um, help the rubs stick a little bit better. I'll just do this top side and I won't show you the other side. Just do this side and then uh, flip it over and do the other side off camera. But I'm gonna use the rub by the J. Christopher Company. This one's pretty light on the salt, but it has sumac in it. It's a purple Middle Eastern berry. You can see that purple color and uh, that should give us a nice color. So we'll start off with that. And like I said, this is pretty light on the salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle it lightly with some kosher salt as well. All right, and then some Johnny's seasoned pepper. This has no salt in it at all. It's just, uh, besides pepper, it's uh, sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onions. So I think that should go pretty nicely with the other rub. And I also like onion powder, so I'm gonna, uh, a little extra onion powder on there as well. Okay, and then I'm going to cover that up with brown sugar. So just cover a bunch of that with brown sugar. So let me finish up this side and I'll do the other side the exact same way and then we'll get the grill lit. That's how the other side looks when I'm all done seasoning it. Now we'll go outside and light the grill. It's still kind of dark out here, so hopefully you can see okay, but I have about 10 briquettes piled in the corner right there. And to light this, I have a couple of paper towels soaked in vegetable oil that I stuck underneath them. So, hopefully I can get this to light here. Come on now. This usually works pretty good. All right, there we go. That is starting to get going pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is start adding more charcoal to the slow and sear. And what I'm gonna actually do this time is count the briquettes because I've had people ask like how many briquettes I use. So I'm actually gonna count them out. And that way too, um, it'll give me something to go by on my next cook, whether I think I need more or less. So I'm gonna count them this time. I put 90 briquettes in there, so we'll see how this goes. We'll get the meat probe into the center of the meat here. And I have water in my, um, in the, the water uh, reservoir there. Looks like the fire's getting pretty hot. So I think we're ready to go here. Just get the lid on and I'm gonna try to keep the temp around 275 degrees Fahrenheit, so. Looks like we're ready to go here. This has been cooking for about 50 minutes now and my wireless probe says the grill is 270 degrees Fahrenheit and this thermometer says 310 and my top vent is all the way open and this one is uh, just kind of underneath that second hole right there. It has been a little over four hours and I haven't had the lid off. The internal temperature of the meat is 160 degrees and the grill temperature is down to 232. It's kind of dropping off a little bit. So I think we should open the lid and see what it looks like here. Wow, that's pretty. Um, got some charcoal there. All the water is evaporated out of the slow and sear. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is wrap it in foil and maybe just put it in my oven. That looks really good. Now if I can get it onto this foil here, 
and get it wrapped up. Whoa, it's hard to handle. Okay, there we go. Now that's the meat side. I have the fat side down. I wonder how the bottom looks. That looks okay. I, I wanted the bark on the meat anyway, so um, that's why I put it meat side up. I'm still going to keep that fat side down because I'm just going to peel that fat off when I pull it. I can get a hold of this thing here. Come on now. All right. There we go. Probably need another piece. Kind of double wrap that. This looks pretty juicy, so I'm not going to add any liquid to the foil. I just wrap the roast up like it is. I'm going to stick an oven meat thermometer right in the center of it because this needs to get up to about 200, maybe 205 degrees uh, to get to be tender enough to pull apart for like pulled pork. So I'm just going to put that in a 300 degree oven until that reaches uh, about 200 to 205 degrees. This was in the oven for four and a half hours until the internal temperature reached 200 degrees and it's been sitting here cooling down a little bit. So let's see how it looks here. Well, wow, that looks pretty nice. I wonder how tender that is. Oh, it's really, really tender. Let's see what it looks like on the inside here. Wow, look at that. Super juicy, super moist. Let me grab a piece here like with some of this bark on it. Oh, that's maybe fat right there, but let me, uh, that piece has some bark right there. Well, it's hot, but let me try that out. That is pretty good. It's definitely moist and tender, almost a little too tender. <laughs> Annie's here freaking out. I guess we better let her try it. <laughs> I guess she liked it. Of course, that's no surprise. <laughs> that had a pretty nice smoke ring on it. I just realized I had some apple wood I was going to put on there and I forgot to put it on. So that's just from charcoal. So um, actually, I think it turned out pretty good. Might be slightly overcooked. It was on the grill for, I think, about four hours and ten minutes. And the grill temperature was running about 270 on my wireless thermometer and about 310 on the dial that I have mounted on the side of the lid. And then once I wrapped it and put it in, in the oven, it was in there for about four and a half hours. So total cooking time was just about eight and a half hours, um, which I think is about right. It was uh, almost a nine pound piece of meat. So. That sounds about right. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out for my first try. And like I said, I used, um, I counted out the briquettes. It was uh, 90 briquettes. And I think heat wise, that was probably about right as well. So pretty happy with the way it turned out for my first try. And um, like I said, it may have been slightly overcooked, but hey, I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching. See you guys.